This is how I have my spot and scope uh, in my backpack. The scout is going to just be around the neck of it loosely. I like to keep it there because then it's ready to go. As soon as I get my spot and scope out, I can just slide my scout up, tighten it down, and I'm ready to slap my phone on. For this though, we'll slide it off. You can see that the slider adjustment is all the way in. And that's where it's gonna be on most spotting scopes. There are gonna be a few out there though that will require you to put the slider out a little bit. And what causes that is the diameter of the eyepiece is gonna be a little bit smaller. The slider is primarily designed for binoculars, but it works for the spot and scopes also. So to get it on there, you want your eyepiece all the way out. Let's slide that over. It does need to be snug, but you don't have to reef on it. And then you'll want the band and your scout nice and flush with the eyepiece of your uh, spotter. And then once you have it like that, you're ready to attach your phone. The way this nanner is set up on the phone, we'll want it twisted down a little bit. Slap it on there, you're ready to go. You can see the picture is nice and centered uh, on the phone screen. That allows us just to zoom into 2x, gets away of all that uh, black shading. Let's say you have a spotting scope that does have a smaller diameter on it. This picture is gonna be offset one way or another. And so you, what you wanna do is pull your phone off and spin the adjustment knob. Give it a few turns. And what that's doing, it's pushing the slider out and moving the magnets away from the center of your spot and scope. And then put your phone back on there. It's gonna be a little bit better and see if you need to adjust it out further or a little bit more in, and you're ready to go.